Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blaze here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection video. All right, this time, um, they released another Kizuna. And they released not just one, but two at the same damn time. That shit is insane. They've never done anything like that before. They are leaning heavily into these Kizunas. Um, I don't know why. Maybe they feel like they put themselves in a corner because nothing else is really that useful. And max LPing a 90 cost unit isn't as helpful as having a max Kizuna. Um, Imbus are just there. They don't make 40 cost anymore. Um, so yeah, I guess they just Kizuna all the time now. Um, I used to say last year that my favorite units were Kizunas, but I'm Kizuna'd out, man. They just keep making them and making them and making them. And then you have to summon on these rates to get them, and then you don't get them. So it's just, I don't think I'm good. I do like the part one art, though. It's amazing. They even have the um, Naruto and Sasuke, and then they have the uh, Sakura and Kakashi Kizuna. So they're, like I said, they like I said before, they're going to make Kizunas of pretty much anything. It doesn't even matter at this point. Um, just anything can be a Kizuna. They don't, so don't be surprised if after this you see a Kizuna, um, Zabuza and Haku, Kizuna this, Kizuna that. So, um, don't be surprised at all. They're going to make them. I'm telling you now, nah, they're just going to make any fucking thing at this goddamn point. Anything. And also, um, I do like that they d added this to it now. So now for the low, low price of $100, you can go into the shop and buy 181 stones plus a um, s ticket. The ticket will allow you to get one of the um, new Kizunas. So the Sasuke and uh, Naruto and the Kakashi and Sakura. So um, it's pretty much random. You pretty much got a 50-50 chance to get either one. So I guess that's pretty cool. Wish they started doing that in the future with... Um, Kizunas. They kind of do that with 90 calls now where when you buy a pack, you uh, get the uh, dupe stone for them. So if you do pull them, you already have a, um, a dupe stone into them. So you don't have to summon for another dupe. So I guess that's pretty cool right there. Wish they would have done that a lot sooner if they're going to keep releasing Kizunas like this. But this is the first time they've released two at once. So maybe they didn't really think of it. But let's get into this um, Naruto, the greatest dropout. His first skill is to deal 3% plus 2 million on all enemies, inflict attack, defense, and speed minus 100%. Deal 8 additional attacks, dealing 3% plus 761,000. High chance to inflict a Rasengan unique state. Rasengan unique state, I like that. Um, second skill, recover 3 million HP and attack, defense, and speed plus 300% to self. Grant disable negative special and god state to self. Grant one turn of skill immunity and self. Um, ignore resistance and skill dodge and inflict the intimidate state. The Intimidate states whatever. Unless they're going to be like um, the Sasuke and Naruto 6 paths Kizuna where they just constantly force you in that state. In that special state. Um, the leader skill is Kona HP, attack, defense, and speed plus 200%, cast speed plus 3. I really, 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 really like that leader skill. That is a really good fucking leader skill. Ability 1, um, high chance to inflict the Rasengan unique state to all enemies when rotating to um, instant kill immunity, damage limit set to 700,000, of course, damage limit free revive plus 4, remove own genju to debuff and status effects when attacked. Ability 2, serious game, speed plus 500%, high chance to grant first strike, enemy formation immunity and instant action when attacked, chance to ignore resistance and skill dodge and inflict Rasengan unique state when attacked. Um, ability 3 is, um, blue and white type specialization, so type advantage against blue and white typing units. Um, rolls, disabler, support, god speed, cons, no multicast. Um, special state intimidation, speed minus 200%, cast speed minus 2, unique state. That's what I wanted to know, the Rasengan. Um, consume one action, instant action, disable, enemy Naruto and Sasuke, friendship, Kizuna speed, plus a thousand percent. Huh? This is enemy Naruto and Sasuke friendship Kizuna speed plus a thousand percent. Disable positive special in God state. So their instant action is disabled, and then their speed gets buffed by a thousand percent. I think that's what that means. I'm assuming that's what that means. And then um, teamwork friendship deal three penetrating additional attacks doing skill damage multiplier plus eight hundred thousand. Woo! Um, grants and Instant action to ally Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura, and Kakashi. Wow, I like that. Speed plus a thousand percent. Disable debuff status effects. Genju to illusion. Dis negative special state and god state. I like it. I like it. He's not bad at all. The Kizuna skill is deal three percent plus three million penetrate damage. Deal seven additional attacks. 
um, dealing 800,000 fixed damage, high chance to ignore multiple lives, grant teamwork, friendship, unique state to all allies. That teamwork unique state is nice. And because of these newer Kizunas, whenever they get fucking touched, they use their Kizuna skill, you might get this off. Um, if they somehow survive it, you got the teamwork of friendship. And the teamwork of friendship, once again, uh, gives you instant action. It's almost like, um, what's that state that that 40 cost Kakashi had? Where it made, uh, it moved everybody up in action bar, instant action. I forgot what the state was called. It Kakashi gave it to a lot of the Team 7 units. I forgot. I forgot the top of my head. But it's kind of like that. I like this Naruto, though. He's really good. Uh, Naruto's gear skill damage is 150%. Caspi plus 2 plus something. Oh, okay, we'll figure that out later. And then Sasuke's gear. Shot cost is set to 0 HP, attack, defense, and speed plus 150% plus something. Assumption of gears. Okay, cool. It's just assumption of gears. All right, cool with me. Um, let's move on to the another other character. Excuse me, other characters. Sasuke Uchiha now. I got like four fucking characters. We got two more characters, Sasuke, and now Sakura and Kakashi. They couldn't stop at one, Kizuda. They had to keep fucking going. Loner's Revenge, my favorite character, baby. All right. Deal 3% plus 2 million to all enemies. High chance to inflict the Chidori unique state. Deal 7 additional attacks. Dealing 3% plus 800,000. On speed plus 500% for one turn. Always hit. Um, second skill. Recover 3 million HP attack defense. And skill damage plus 300% to self. Grant disable negative special and god state to self. Speed plus 500% for one turn. Ignore resistance and skill dodge. And inflict the intimidate state. Come over here, leader skill, Konai HP, attack, defense, and speed, plus 20%, skill, damage, plus 300%. I like that one, too. I like that. I like that skill damage. I just like seeing skill damage. I don't know why. Even with damage limit, still a thing. Um, Ability 1, high chance to inflict a Jory unique state to all enemies when rotating to instant kill immunity. Damage limit is set to 700,000. Revive plus 4. Remove all Genjutsu debuff stats effects when attack. It looks like he does the same thing Naruto does, except he just swap out um Chidori with a Rasengan. High chance, well, speed plus 500%, high chance to grant first strike, enemy formation immunity, instant action when attacked, chance to ignore resistance and skill dodge, and inflict a Jidori unique state when attacked. Ability 3, um, yellow and black type specialization, the roles is support, god speed, weakness, and peril, um, turn multi manipulator, and then no multicast. Special state, intimidation, speed minus 200%, cast speed minus 1. Shidori, unique state, grant enemy Naruto and Sasuke friendship, Kizuna, speed cut in per turn, weak to all types. Ooh, high chance to inflict sk skip when attacked, disable positive special in God state. And that teamwork friendship is the same thing. Okay. I like Sasuke too. I like Sasuke too. I like all of them, I think. Like I said, I think they're all good. Really good units. We got, what is this? Three Kizunas in a fucking month? Because at the beginning of the month, we had the um, Naruto and Sasuke six paths. So, what is it? Three Kizunas in one month? Good God. Alright, Kakashi Hatake, self-reliant power. Alright, let's see. He has a different Kizuna skill because he's a different Kizuna, so I gotta read that part, but let's get into it now. Um... Deal 3% plus 2 million to all enemies. High chance to inflict the resi to ignore resistance and inflict paralysis. Deal 5 additional attacks doing 3% plus a million. On speed plus 1,000 for one turn. Second skill is all allies. Attack speed, defense and skill damage plus 200%. Grant protection state to all allies. Speed plus 1,000% and skill damage immunity for one turn to self. Grant Team 7's leader unique state to self. It's almost like this team is meant to just be like, like I said before, Kizunas are just fucking overtaking this game. It's almost like if you pull the newest Naruto and Sasuke Kizuna um, six paths, these two new Kizunas, you can just run them on a team together and just maybe um, he'll throw a birthday Naruto right there too if you want to. Um, and whatever new Kizuna comes out, probably like the, the Madara and Obito, you can just throw Kizuna on a team. It don't even matter anymore. So that's pretty cool. Um, the Kizuna skill is deal 3% plus 3 million penetrate damage, deal 7 additional attacks, then 800,000 fixed damage, high chance to ignore multiple lives, grant teamwork, lightning, and fang, unique state to all allies. I remember as a kid, people used to ship Sakura Kakashi. I don't know why. It was really fucking weird. Um, leader skill, self-reliant powers, 
Chronos speed plus 300% high chance for enemy formation and terrain immunity. Uh, that's whatever. Because you do it right here. And you see, you at the start the battle. It's the cast skill to start the battle. Enemy formation immunity. So what the fuck is it in your... um? Well, I guess the terrain immunity is fine. But if you have an Imbu unit like um, Sakura and um, Tsunade, they just destroy it. So I don't know. Uh, that leader skill is whatever to me. Um, speed plus 500% instant cast skill to the start a battle. Enemy formation immunity, high chance to grant instant action when attacked. Um, ability to grant team seven's leader unique state to self when rotating to instant kill immunity. Damage limit set to 700,000. Receive revive plus four. Remove enemy positive special and god state when attacked. Ability three, yellow and black type specialization. Roll support godly, god speed, immortal, turn manipulator, no multicast, low damage. I can deal with the low damage. The unique state is Team 7's leader. If there's a Naruto, Sasuke, or, or Sakura ally alive, high chance to grant immortality. Grant instant action to ally Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura. Speed plus 1000%. Enemy formation immunity. Remove all allies. Debuff uh, status effects. Genjutsu negative special and god state when attacked. Teamwork lightning fang. Deal 3, addi deal three penetrate additional attacks dealing skill damage multiplier plus 800,000. Grant instant action to ally Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura and Kakashi. Speed plus 1000%. Disable debuff status effects getting you to illusion, negative special, and god state. God damn it, it's a lot to read. And for any of you who want the picture, the homie Yui left the art links in the corner right here. So you can come into the Discord and get or grab that out. Or maybe you could just take your phone and go up to it and just take a picture of it from the video. Can you do that? I don't know. I don't think it's possible. All right. Finally, we're on to the Sakura now. And I can just read it from here. I like how, like, everybody else got a cool picture and then Sakura got this bullshit. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Um, her leader skill is HP plus 300%. High chance for instant kill immunity, debuff, status effects, skip, and cancel immunity. Skill 1, deal 3% plus 2 men all enemies, inflict skip. Uh, most people have skip immunity, so whatever. Deal 9, additional attacks, dealing 3% plus 390,000. Uh, recover 3 million HP to all. Uh, remove debuff stats effects and Genjutsu and Rava Rava a random ally. That's pretty cool. Grant inner soccer unique state to self. Ability 1. Speed plus 500%. Instant cast skill 2. Enemy formation immunity. High chance to grant instant action when attacked. Ability 2. Grant inner soccer unique state when rotating 2. Instant kill immunity. Damage limit is set to 700,000. Revive plus 4. Remove debuff stats effects when attacked. Ability 3. Red and white type specialization. Um, unique state inner Sakura deal six additional six penetrate additional attacks doing three percent plus three hundred ninety thousand when using a skill high chance to ignore resistance and inflict stun recast skill when attacking an enemy inflicted with stun enemy formation immunity when attacked very high chance to grant instant action and counter attack with skill one disable debuff stats effects genju to illusion negative special and god state so uh okay cool Sakura is um she's she's Sakura and around she's she's Sakura and around but that's going to be it for this part right here. Uh, we got all their, finally got all their fucking translations done. Oh my god, that was a lot of reading. Um, Naruto feels like he's the best, which makes sense because he's the, he's the main character. Uh, Sasuke doesn't feel bad. Kashi doesn't feel bad. Sakura doesn't feel bad either. They're all good in their own special way. So if you guys want to summon, go on ahead. That's if you still even have stones because the beginning of the month, like I said, well, they um, did six past Naruto and Sasuke. So um, if you still somehow have stones, even after summoning on all of that shit and summoning on these um, free banners, um, you know, good luck to you. Summon on them. I don't know if I'm going to summon on them. I've been spending a lot of money on fucking Grand Cross. I didn't got Trader Meliota 6-6. Six, six. I didn't got the new Sario 6-6 six, six costume. So I'm trying to chill out on spending. So I don't know if I'm going to spend to get these Kizunas. Probably wouldn't have fooled them anyway. If I do decide to summon on it, I'm probably just going to buy that ticket and just be done with it. I don't even know if I want to use my stones. I might just go into February with um, a full stones if that's what I so choose to do. Um... They don't seem like they're gonna be hurting. Uh, they're gonna be hurting us too badly in PvP. Sound like we might have a chance against them, as opposed to the Mata and Obito and Sasuke and Sakura Kizunas. I don't feel like I don't have a chance against those guys at all. I feel like either you got them or you don't. So I, I'm I'm good on that. So I ain't gonna worry too much about them in PvP. Hopefully I do see them more in action. I feel like once I see them in action, my opinion of them will change. But that's going to be it for this video right here, guys. If you guys like this video, you want to see more, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. This is me, your boy Blazehood. Peace out.